Hello rugby fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. Today we're going to be talking about a technology called RAID, Redundant Array of Inexpensive Discs. Some of you may have heard of it as Redundant Array of Independent Discs. Uh, it started out as inexpensive, but you can use either and people will know what you're talking about. Now there's a number of different uh, types of RAID, ranging from RAID 0 all the way up to RAID 10, nested RAIDs, RAID 0 ones, and we're going to talk about some of the more popular ones uh, over the span of the next week. But today we're going to talk about RAID 0. Now RAID 0 is usually created through the use of two hard drives. Uh, they don't have to be two, you can use more, uh, most people don't realize that, uh, but typically you're going to see two disks, and usually you're going to see two disks of the same size. So for example, if I connect two one terabyte hard drives together on a computer in a RAID 0 configuration, uh, I'm going to have a total storage space of two terabytes. And uh, the computer doesn't know that I don't have a one single two terabyte hard drive connected to it. So this allows for a larger amount of storage space without having to spend the kind of money you might have to spend on, say, a brand new larger hard drive. And another feature that we have is that each hard drive is connected on its own channel to the motherboard of the computer, which allows for much faster writing input and output speeds. So uh, the only thing we have to worry about is if we lose the data on one of the hard drives or uh, if one of the hard drives fails, we've lost the data across all of the hard drives. So although we have great speed, we don't have any redundancy built in whatsoever, uh, at least not with a normal file system. So uh, to the takeaway here when it comes to forensics is that uh, we can connect a device that's big enough to hold the total of both hard drives if we need the full physical uh, content. Otherwise, with RAID 0, we can image both drives separately and most any forensics tool is going to give us the capability to rebuild the, uh, the data set out of the two RAID images. Uh, otherwise, you can just connect and grab the data that you need. So, the pros, great input output speed, larger storage spaces for the same money. The con, if you lose one drive, you lose all of your data. So, bear that in mind when you're dealing with RAID 0. Tomorrow we'll talk about RAID 1, but in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.